Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem fifty-seven in chapter twenty-five. Chapter twenty-five is about electrical currents and resistance. There we have a copper wire. The diameter is given at zero point six five millimeter. Mm -hmm. And the current it carry it is is given as two point three microamperes. So we we write down the given quantities, the D and the I, right? First one, we need to find the electron's drift velocity. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit difficult, but then we can see which equation we can connect connect the drift velocity. This one, right? The current density equal to the Moore number times the charge times the velocity drift. So drift density, a drift velocity. It looks like this equation. Mm -hmm. In this equation, you can see e the Charge of the electrons, you can check a test book, get it there. And the next one, you need to find the dry current density. How can you get it? Use the current divided by the cross sectional areas, right? So this is a pi r squared. The r at the radius can be equal to as a diameter over 2. So we put it there. The next one, we need to find the more number of electrons. The more numbers over straightforward, we can see this is use the n, the number of the electrons for one more, right? Divided by mass and then times the density. So you can see the mass for the Cooper for the electron you can get as there. Uh, for the Cooper is there, and the density you can get it is there. Check your textbook, and this number n you can get it is there. So in this part, this n can be found as a constant, right? Now you can say n is found, dry is found the current density. So you can input this uh, two quantity in this uh, term, in this uh, function, right? So there we get the function as the draft velocity as the current density divided by n times e. Input these two terms inside, you can see, mm -hmm. reorganize it, simplify it, it becomes this term. Mm -hmm. And in this term, you can see all the quantity is given. Input all the quantity, you get the answer at there. See, it moves very slowly. Mm -hmm. The second part is for the current density. So the current density, as we talk about, is just the current divided by the cross-sectional areas, right? This is current divided by pi r squared. So r is the radius as the diameter over 2. So you get it there. The next one, you need to find the electric field in the wire. So how can you do that? We can get the function look like this one, right? The charge density equal to the E, the electric field density divided by 0. Mm -hmm. And this charge density, we just get it in part B. And so very easily, we can see electric field is rho times G. Get the final answer there. Thank you.